Hello, 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 friends. Welcome back for another swatch and review. Today we have a very special one of Glisten and Glow's Thankful Collection, our Grateful Collection. I don't remember exactly which one it's called, but uh, this is a wonderful collection. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that Glisten and Glow is actually one of my absolute favorites. Uh, we're going to start off with Glisten and Glow's base top coat or base coat and then we're going to top it off with their top coat. Uh, but let's take a look here. So uh, first of all, uh, while I'm talking, I'm just going to go ahead and put my base coat on. But uh, anyhow, as I was saying, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know Glisten and Glow is actually one of my absolute favorites. I love her formula. I love Jill is the maker of it. I absolutely love her formula. I love the um, beautiful colors that she does. I love the sparkles that she does in some of hers. Um, she does glitter beautifully. She does crumbs beautifully. She does confettis beautifully. Uh, everything that I've had from Glisten and Glow has been absolutely fabulous. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at these here while that base coat dries. Uh, so Jill, first of all, has gotten new boxes and they are fabulous. So they're single bottle boxes. Uh, but let's take a look here. So I have a hunter green. Uh, it has kind of a bluish tinge to it. Uh, this one is gracias, which of course is thank you in Spanish. This next one here is an absolutely beautiful, I would describe it as a periwinkle blue. It's badunk, which is thankful in, or thank you in Dutch. The next one here is a gorgeous plum color. And this one is danke which is a thank you in German. And then the final one here is an absolutely beautiful orangey pumpkin-y mustard color, and it's sp spasibo, uh, which is thank you in Russian, and I probably completely butchered that. But these colors are absolutely beautiful for fall, but at the same time, they're not so fallish that they don't work for others. Um, I found that these, like all of Jill's polishes, went on absolutely beautifully. Uh, get you in a little bit closer here. First of all, her brushes are now these gorgeous premium brushes. They have a little bit of a curve to them, which works fabulously for the nails. They go on gorgeously. Um, weren't quite opaque in one coat, but, uh, you know, fairly great coverage in just the one coat. Um, I found they did need two coats, so you'll be seeing me putting on two coats here in a little bit. Um, I decided to do a Skittle manicure. So a Skittle manicure, if you're not familiar with what that is, is every single nail is a different color. But I wanted to really show off the beauty of this collection, so I did decide to go ahead and do a different nail each color. Um, so next up here, we have the Danka, uh, which is the um, thank you in German. It's that beautiful plum color. This color, you guys, is absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm in love with this color. Um, and then finally, we have the Spazipo. Uh, again, I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but it's thank you in Russian. It's uh a mustard yellow, but it kind of has like an orangey pumpkin color to it. Um, I think it's just a beautiful color for fall. Um, well, the one thing I love about this collection is I do love that they're fall colors, but they're not so over the top fall colors that you can't use them for other times of year. Um, like seriously, the plum color I could use for multiple things, uh, you know, fall of course, but then I could probably do some fun um, Valentine's Day type things with it as well. Um, you know, of course the green would be beautiful in, in multiple different seasons as with the yellow and the blue, perfect blue for spring. Uh, so I absolutely love that. Um, I'm putting the second coat on now, beautiful coverage in two coats, absolutely beautiful, completely opaque in every single one of these. Um, this collection, get it now. Um, I don't think it's limited edition. I think it's one that she's going to have for a while, um, but it's an absolutely gorgeous collection. She just that ships super, super fast. So I actually ordered this with the pre-order for the um, advent box. And so it did ship a little bit later just simply because it was shipping with the advent box. But once she was able to go ahead and ship those out, once the pre-order time frame had ended, it shipped out that very next day. In fact, I think it was like late that night of the night that it, the pre-order ended. 
and everything was to me within a few days. Jill's in Connecticut. I'm in Utah. Uh, so it really does not take that long. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off here with Glisten and Glow's award-winning top coat. It is a quick dry top coat. And when I say quick dry, I mean it within like two minutes, it's completely dry to the touch. Um, absolutely love, love, love this top coat. The bottle you'll see here, I'm going to be tipping the bottle as I'm putting the top coat on because it's about three quarters of the way gone. I do have backup bottles. Um, I'm using this one down just a little bit more and then I'll start on the next box so that I can refill, uh, the bottle with partial of another bottle. I really need to get some of her, her refill bottles. She does sell the top coat in refill. So I need to go ahead and get that. But this collection is absolutely beautiful. You guys, you will not regret it. If you get it, like I said, every single polish is completely opaque and just two coats. It's gorgeous. Uh, you'll notice here on my pinky finger, I do have the green. I did go ahead and replace that Danka color with the Gracias. Um, because I wanted the four main fingers to be truly skittled. Um, and if I did the, the Danka on two of the nails, it wouldn't be that way. So I did go ahead and, and repaint that and I'm very happy that I did. Anyhow, so there you have it. There is the new fall collection. Uh, let me know. I, I mentioned I got the pre-order of the advent box. So it's 12 polishes. Um, let me know if you want me to do them one day one polish each day so truly 12 days of christmas uh, or if you want me to do the advent box all on one day last year i did one polish each day so i'm happy to do that again but let me know in the comments below which one you prefer so until next time don't forget to subscribe <laughs>